As the results came in across 11 time zones, it quickly became clear that Russia's republics, territories and regions had delivered the victory Vladimir Putin expected. The pro-Kremlin United Russia Party has kept its two-thirds majority in parliament, allowing it to change the constitution. The turnout was more than 51 percent. It is much more than the 47 percent of the previous election. It shows that people take seriously the formation of the highest representative agency of state power, the state Duma. But the three-day vote was plagued with claims of vote rigging, such as ballot box stuffing. Electronic voting in Moscow seems to have been particularly difficult to check. And 100.4 percent of people yeah, voted. So, uh, These results on the government's website show 100.4 percent of those registered cast their vote, which is not possible. It's absolutely impossible to trust, even if the elections would have been perfect. Since the beginning of the year, we began, we experienced a huge crackdown of any life, independent political life. We saw that they removed Navalny headquarters. The last straw on our back, that was evoking, and the whole results are now hung. Mikhail Lubanov had been far ahead after the count of the manual votes, but lost to United Russia once long-delayed electronic votes were added. Lubanov, standing with the communists, had benefited from tactical voting. He was one of more than a thousand candidates identified by opposition activists as being best placed to beat United Russia. The Communist Party has rejected the election results. I say as a mathematician, overnight United Russia's results have been growing, Communists' results have been falling and two other parties' results haven't been changing. This is the main tool of falsifications. It's unacceptable in any country. Polls before the ballot had suggested that frustration with years of falling living standards and corruption would dent United Russia's support. But it was down only 4% on the previous election. The election was widely seen as a vital part of Vladimir Putin's effort to cement his grip on power ahead of the 2024 presidential election. The president hasn't said yet whether he'll stand as a candidate again. Bernard Smith, Al Jazeera, Moscow.